up, fabs and besties. The holidays are approaching and we wanted to do something special for all of you. Like maybe give everyone a free doll. Here's your bill. Oh, wow. Um, on second thought, how about free digital paper dolls to download and print? All designed by Bella. On her frog food series, she shows how she created these dolls. Step by step and shows you how you can create your own. But if you would like to use her design, these dolls are available on our blog, myfroggystuff.blogspot.com to download for free and print according to your printer settings. We left the doll as an outline so you can just color it however you want and get creative. Plus, it's printer ink friendly. So today, we're going to color and cut out our paper dolls and accessories and have a little fun. I printed the dolls on cardstock. However, you may choose to print them on paper if you like. I just like cardstock because it's a little sturdier. And we have several pages available. Here is paper doll number one. Printed out, it's a little under 10 inches. We plan on doing a male doll. That will be paper doll number two. But right now, we just have the female. We have two fashion and accessory pages. Here is the one Bella drew live with a pair of shoes and two different wig styles. Then here we have a t-shirt, pants, some sneakers, and a purse. If you would like more clothing options, I don't know if you can see this, but here is a very faint image of the doll. So you can draw on top of it and come up with your own designs. And this page is the wig designer. So you can see a couple of heads on there. There's four on the page. So you can draw two wigs because you need the front piece and then you need the back piece. So that's available too. And we made two background walls. One is just paneling and the other has a large window. To color the dolls, I'm using colored pencils and I have a little bit of white paint standing by just in case I accidentally color the shine and the eye and I have to add it back. I only have a 24 pack of pencils, so I'm kind of limited on skin tones here. I'm gonna start by coloring everything really light. I'm using a light brown and I'm just going to color it all as evenly as I can with this light color. Now we don't have to really worry about coloring outside the lines, but we do have to worry about coloring her undergarments. So you want to be careful there, but everywhere else we can color outside the lines because we're going to cut it out anyway. I'm just trying to go in the same direction. Then let's add a little pressure to create some shadows and do a little shading. We can also use a darker color to get deeper shadows. Add a little red or pink to the cheeks and or lips. Let's color in the eyes. I'm starting with a light green, then add a darker shade on top, then maybe a little brown. And again, I make it darker on top. Color the pupil black, color the hair. I like to ombre it a little, so I'm doing black and I left a little shine. Now I want to smooth everything out a little. So I'm using a white colored pencil and I'm just gonna color over everything I'm using a decent amount of pressure. This one has been done, this one hasn't. So you can see this one's a little smoother than this one. Now it does add a nice amount of a, like a waxy buildup. So make sure you got all your colors and shading done before you do this part. I use the same blending technique even when I've colored the doll a little darker and a little lighter. You can also color the undergarments. I'm just using a little gray to add some shadow so they still look like they're white. 
Now that all of our dolls have been colored, when it comes to cutting them out, we have two choices. We can just go ahead and cut around the doll if we plan on playing on a flat surface. But if we want the doll to stand, I'm gonna leave in this triangle area right here. And let's draw a line on the corner of the page. Cut on that line, bend one side about half an inch so we can attach it to the doll to help it to stand. Carefully cut out the doll. I had to use an X-Acto knife on some spots to cut out under the arms and around the fingers. I left a little bit at the bottom because I plan on folding it back. So if you do plan on making them stand, you do need to be careful about coloring the legs. Fold under the bottom, then we can attach the triangle to the back. You can glue it on, use putty so it's removable, but now we have a doll that can stand. Let's make some hair. On our fashion and accessories one page, we have two different hairstyles. So let's color them. Each wig has two pieces, so I colored them to match, then cut them out. Using a doll as a guide, decide how you want to glue them together. I use a glue stick to add a little glue around the top edge then glue the two pieces together just at the top so we can slide it onto the doll's head. We can color them different colors for different looks, try out different styles. On the wig designer page, we can draw our own. I drew a piece for the front and one for the back. Cut them out and glue them together for a new style. Okay, so we have dolls, we have wigs, now we need some clothes. We have two outfits available to download and print, then we can color them. I'm gonna make the skirt peach. Let's add a little gray to the sweater for a shadow. After everything has been colored, I cut it out. This outfit is all one piece, but I did cut out an opening for the crop top. I'm gonna use a little blue tack or poster putty, place a few small dots on the back, then apply the clothes to the doll, including the shoes, so we can play dress up with our new paper doll. We can add patterns and color the outfits differently to add to our wardrobe. On our fashion and accessories page two, we have another complete outfit and I just added a wig and I made a page with a few My Froggy Stuff t-shirts, just in case you were interested. Color them, cut them out, add putty to the back to dress the doll, place the purse on her hand, I added a small piece of putty to help it stay in place. So we have some pretty decent basics here to help you get started. If you want more options, here is the fashion designer page where we can sketch out our own designs right over a faintly printed paper doll. Color it just like we did with the other ones. I used a black colored pencil to outline it, cut it out, add a little poster putty or blue tack to the back so the paper dolls can have a new outfit of the day whenever we want. We made a printable for a quick background. I cut off the inside margin so the chair rail on the two printables can match up. We can place tape down the center I place the tape on the back, fold it in half, then stand it up to make a corner room. These are windows right here so we can color them or we can carefully cut them out. However, this will make this wall pretty delicate, but it will allow us to play with light and have fun with our photos. And since our backdrop is made of paper, we do have the option of coloring it to make a different scene. Speaking of different scenes, we created a closet printable, well, printables, 
Tape them together, just like before, to make a closet for our paper dolls, where we can hang up our clothes when not in use by placing a little putty onto the back and then onto a hanger. If you are worried that the blue tack might sting your project, just look for white poster putty instead. Fill the paper closet with all of the clothing and accessories to stay nice and organized. We also have a few shelves for our extra wigs. We can use double-sided tape to connect the different pages, making a book where we can flip the pages. I'm taking the room scene and I'm gonna fold it over. Then I printed out our cityscape on a piece of cardstock and I'm gonna tape it onto this edge using invisible tape. So we always have a scene outside our window. I tape the other side to the closet so everything is all in one place. If I wanna extend this room, I make another, only this time I glued the window on the other side, trim off the margin on both sides. So these two walls are a little shorter than those. Match up the chair rails and the new walls are slightly on top of the other ones. And we're gonna just tape it right on top. So they're connected, but we can still fold them up and everything fits inside. I tape a cover onto the front using double-sided tape. I tape together two blank pages of cardstock, tape them in the back. So the very back of our book is left blank. Take some of those margin strips we cut off earlier and we're gonna just tape them on the ends. Take one of the paper dolls, fold over the stand, make everything lay flat, slide them under the paper to hold them in place inside the book, protecting our dolls and making them portable. And when we wanna play, setup is pretty easy. We just open it up to the room, unfold this, stand it up, to have an expanded play area for our paper dolls. All of our printables are available to download and print for free on our blog, myfroggystuff.blogspot.com as our little gift to all of you. Thank you for joining us while we made paper dolls designed by Bella in her frog food series. Like, comment, share, and subscribe don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at My Froggy Stuff, The Frog Vlog, and Bella of My Froggy Stuff. If you like our paper dolls and you would like to see more, let us know in the comments down below. And we will see you next time. Bye! <laughs>